It's been nearly one week since a student at a Texas high school walked into a classroom and opened fire, killing eight students and two teachers. Now, police say the gunman was wearing a black trench coat. The same article of clothing that we've unfortunately seen in other school shootings. Dan Investigates' Jennifer Titus has learned whether or not that article of clothing is allowed in schools right here in the Bay Area. The shooters in the Columbine High School massacre both wore long duster style coats during their rampage and were later investigated for ties to a student group known as the trench coat mafia. Ever since, concerns about copycats. Operation Columbine is underway. Like this gunman in a 2006 North Carolina school shooting have prompted districts nationwide to change their dress codes. Fast forward to Santa Fe last Friday. From what we know, this dude walked in today with a long coat and a shotgun under his coat. It's 90 degrees. Several students say this was the coat the suspect wore. He posted it on his Facebook page. He always wore had this black trench coat. And that's against the district policy clearly spelled out in the school's handbook. Dozens of other schools in the Houston area also ban trench coats. Add that to the ones across the country that do. But when it comes to the Bay Area, 10 Investigates has learned that school districts from Polk County, Pinellas, Hillsborough, down to Manatee, don't ban trench coats. Manatee County did tell us that their code of conduct handbook does allow the school principal or designee to be the final judge about whether your clothing is appropriate for school. Jennifer Titus, 10 Investigates.